Hi Internet, it's me, MJ. In case you didn't already know, I'm reviewing the Amazon Kindle. I've been using it for about two weeks now, so I have a pretty good idea of what I like and what I don't like. We're going to take this to five separate locations to see how you might use it in your daily life, and it's my hope that this whole thing is worth your time, and if you're considering getting one, that it might help you in your decision. So, here we go. So like many of you, I do a lot of my reading in bed. And normally, I wouldn't say it's awkward, but it does involve some finagling. The only thing I don't particularly like about reading a book, book, in bed, is that if I fall asleep and this closes, I have to find my page again, which, wah, wah, you know, what a complainer. But it's difficult sometimes. <laughs> if this falls asleep, if I fall asleep and I don't touch this, this will fall asleep and then it will remember where I was in my book. So the next time I turn it back on, it's just going to jump to where I fell asleep, which is awesome. Is it worth $350? I'm not so sure about that yet, but hopefully when I take it to a few more locations, we will figure that out together. The next place I decided to use my Kindle was in my Sunday school class. If I hadn't have bookmarked the verses I wanted to use for my lesson that day, it would have taken me forever to find them. And even though the Kindle is much lighter than the Bible, it's still easier for me to look things up in the actual book. So in this scenario, book definitely wins. Okay, so here we are in my car, and I'm not going to advocate reading while driving. But a feature that I didn't know about the Kindle um, that I'm really excited about is the fact that it will read aloud to you and since it has a headphone jack and my Fiesta has an audio import I can plug my Kindle into my Fiesta and it will read